Our goals in developing a wedge are giving all the features to the golfer that we know they need for all the different shots they're going to face. We know that our competitors, they hand polish. People think, oh, it's got to be better, it's handcrafted, but it's simply not. It's actually a detriment. You have a line of 10 to 15 operators hand polishing these, all trying to make them identical to each other. It's simply not possible. You can go to a store and you can get a 60-10 wedge and a 60-10 wedge, and the consumer's going to expect that those are going to be the same. But in reality, they're probably not. There's just too much variation in that hand polishing process. There can be a flat spot on that sole. The leading edge could be asymmetric. We just know that it's not going to be consistent. The sole functionally is the most important part of a wedge. It's going to go through the turf. It's going to dictate the launch. It's going to dictate how the ball comes off the face, the feel of the shot. That's the business end of the wedge that we had to make sure was perfect. So when we design a wedge, we spend so much time refining the sole geometry so that it's perfect for all different shot shapes and conditions. The tour plays a big role when we're developing wedges. We machine prototype after prototype and we bring it out there for testing. These guys are just so in tune with their wedge game, they could tell two or three shots if it's right. That was nice. And they'll tell you exactly what they're feeling and what they think needs to be changed. When their livelihood depends on it and they want to put their names in history books, it has to be perfect, it has to be right. I like that one, Vis. The milled grind operation that we use with the technology we have now, it's perfect every single time. The milled grind process for these wedges is using a really large machine, a CNC machine, that's numerically controlled to replicate our CAD models perfectly. It's going back and forth and it's machining exact to the geometry that we want. For us to mill our grinds and to have that be consistent and correct every single time, the consumer is going to get what they think they're buying and what they need. You want to look down at that wedge and you want to have confidence in it. You want that leading edge to look just right and symmetric. You want the shape to be perfect. And confidence means a lot with a wedge in terms of how you can perform and how you can execute your shot.